Excuse me. Oh, hello there. I'm your science buddy, Dana. I'm just finishing my lunch, but I think I'm already full. How about you? What did you eat for lunch today? That's delicious! But what do you think happens to the food you eat? Don't worry, you'll find it out in our today's topic. Our body needs a lot of energy to enable us to do our daily activities. Such energy comes from the food that we eat. Digestion is the process by which complex food materials are converted into simpler materials that can be used by our body. The digestive system is responsible for breaking down the food you eat and extracting nutrients from food. How does it happen? Digestion begins in the mouth where the food is mechanically digested by the process of chewing or mastication. As the food is being chewed, saliva is released by the salivary glands, moistening the food for easy swallowing. The chewed food, referred to as bolus, passes through the pharynx, then to the esophagus. It is a long tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. The rhythmic and wave-like contractions of the esophagus, called peristalsis, force and push the bolus down to the stomach. The stomach is a large bean-shaped muscular organ. The churning movement of the stomach walls further breaks down the food particles into smaller bits while the glands along its walls secrete gastric juice containing hydrochloric acid and enzymes that aid in digestion. The peristaltic movement of the stomach muscles mixes and pushes the partially digested food called chyme toward the small intestine. The small intestine is the site for final digestion of food. Through the action of enzymes, Food is completely digested here. Then, in the inner linings which are folded into small finger-like projections called villi, digested food is absorbed for distribution to all parts of the body. But what happens to the undigested food materials? The undigested food moves to the large intestine which absorbs water from them, turning them into a solid mass. The solid mass of undigested food stays in the rectum for a while before it is excreted through the anus as feces. The release of the feces from the body is called defecation or bowel movement. Some organs are not found in the digestive tract, but they also aid in digestion. They are called accessory digestive organs. The liver is located near the stomach. It produces bile that helps in fat digestion. The gallbladder is a small sac that is a touch under the liver. It stores the bile which is produced by the liver. The pancreas is an elongated organ behind the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice and enzymes. Do you now understand how our digestive system works? Perfect! So remember to eat healthy so your digestive system will be happy!